you just want to do something out of the ordinary. Something that tickles somebody's fancy or makes them smile or whatever. You just get these ideas in your head and, and uh, you really can't describe them. You know, I don't have a I don't have a theory about it or anything, I just do it. Well, I think most artistic people, you know, especially painters, I think, they put their heart into their arrangements. It's part of them, it's part of who they are. And I think that's the same thing with a florist. The joy of being here so long is to get to know people personally. I don't consider the people that walk in the door customers. They're just people that want something to please somebody else, and that's my job. She is the most kind, gentle soul you'll ever meet. If you go into her shop, you're going to get a hug. And so she's very warm. And she had established a really warm relationship with Rob Ingersoll, um, who had been in nine years and would come in and spend a good amount of money throughout the year. And they had gotten to know each other pretty well. He has a very creative mind, and so we just sort of hit it off. At one point, he decided to get married a few months after same-sex marriage became legal in Washington State. And he, of course, wanted her to do it. That was a real struggle to, to decide what to do with that. My husband and I talked it over, and, you know, as much as I love Rob, I just couldn't, couldn't be a part of that. If I did Rob's wedding, it would be from my heart, because I, I think he's a really special person, and I would want to make it really special for him. So it wasn't something that I flippantly said, oh, I'm not going to do Rob's wedding because he's gay. When I talked to Rob, I did not think this would be a, a major issue. I was very surprised at that. The Attorney General's action in this case is unprecedented in Washington State. We have never had an Attorney General take the position that this Attorney General has taken. Now the ACLU's piled on and the same-sex couple have sued her as well. And interestingly, um, they have sued her in her personal capacity as well as her business. So she is at great risk. As a result of serving someone lovingly and admittedly in a kind way for nine years and because you won't do one same-sex wedding you're going to lose your house or your business. And she's been working in this business for 40 years. This is about marriage. It's not about bigotry. She knew of their relationship. They provided, she provided flowers that they sent to each other. But when it came to marriage, that was the line. Because, as she'll tell you, marriage represents the relationship of Christ and His Church. It's a sacred covenant. Marriage is a sacred, very sacred thing. You want flowers for your anniversary, or your birthday, or whatever, that's fine. But I just cannot do a same-sex marriage. I have to have faith that He's going to protect me and uh, give me the courage and the knowledge and the wisdom to to stand firm on this, but uh, it's also helped me understand what obedience is and what, I'm going to cry, <clears throat> and what following Christ is. You know, you can't, you can't sit on the fence, like he says, you can't be lukewarm. <laughs>